Now, in today's video, we'll be talking about lines and pulley lines. When selecting and using line tool in a CAD, a single line is created. This may contain multiple segments, but each segment can individually be edited or deleted. Whereas, if you work on the pulley line, then we create a multi-segmented line but it acts as a single section and it is also edited as a whole. Here I have created two objects, one is made up of line and one is made up of pulley line. Now to identify which one is made up of line and which one is made up of pulley line, I simply hover my cursor to the those created objects and CAD automatically displays me it, the properties of the object that is line and pulley line. Now, one thing I find benefit of using pulley line over line is while you are uh, working on offset. Suppose uh, I want to create another rectangle within this boundary, then obviously I am selecting the offset command. If I select offset command with let's say a distance of uh, offset distance 1 inch and I need to select the object and I click inside the boundary of the object. I repeat the action in all four sides. And I finally have my new uh, rectangle inside the uh, boundary of previous object. But you can still see uh, there are some areas where you need to actually trim to uh, make the job perfect. Likewise, if we perform the same act in the polyline with same offset distance, then you can see you can create the whole object within just one click. See how easier your task has been by polyline. Likewise, suppose uh, this is the floor plan of a building. If I want to create a polyline, then I need to select the polyline option in the home ribbon. I specify the first point, second point, third point fourth point and uh, let's say uh, I want to introduce uh, arc of suitable dimension in this section then I simply right click and I select arc and I finally select the finishing point and I press enter so polyline actually allows you to create not only a straight line but also a circular arc if necessary Likewise, if I want to create uh, a polyline to over this line segment, then I again select the polyline option. And um, to make the object more visible, I want to increase the width. I select the width option and uh, let's say I give it a width of 0 0.2. 0 .2. I enter it again and I have my new polyline with increased width. I select all the corners and I complete my drawing. Now I have two polylines but of varying width. I need to match the property of this firstly created polyline to match its width. For that I select the match properties. I give a source object. I right click and hit setting. Now I need to make sure that the polyline is checked in this property setting. I press OK and I select the distinction object. Uh, sorry. Match properties, select object, select distinction object. I hit enter. Now to convert this segment into Polyline, you can repeat the similar process or another process we have is editing the lines to convert it to the polylines. For that, you press PE, which is the short form, short form for polyline edit. You select the polyline. Uh, it asks if you really want to turn the line into polyline. You hit enter, select in the yes command and you select join now you select the other objects and finally right click and select close 
you hit the enter now you can see a polyline has been created now suppose your manager wants to know the floor area then you can use the boundary command for that first of all you select the rectangle and you enclose the floor area by creating a rectangle if you hover the mouse over the rectangle you say you see it as a polyline now it's a good thing to know that a rectangular is a polyline to calculate the area you hit the boundary command and in object type you select the polyline and click on pick points now you need to pick a point inside the rectangle but outside of the floor plan click and you hit the enter now you have created a new uh, polyline which is the outer area of the floor plan to make the object more visible i select the plan and i right click and select move and i move it outside of the region now you need to make sure that the unit has been converted into architectural and you select the polyline you go to the properties where you can see the actual area of the floor plan as 118 square inch okay this was for polylines and i'll see you in the next video